Hey there, car enthusiasts. Welcome back to For Wheels Empire. Today, we're tackling a common trouble code PO3 to 5. This code refers to a malfunction in your knock sensor circuit, specifically a knock sensor 1 circuit malfunction bank 1. If you've seen this code pop up in your OBD to scanner, don't worry, I've got you covered. Let's break down what it means and how to fix it. The PO3 to 5 code indicates a problem with the knock sensor on bank 1 of your engine. The knock sensor detects engine knocks or pings caused by detonation, and it helps the engine control module ECM adjust the timing to prevent damage. When it's not working, it can't do its job properly. When the knock sensor fails, the engine can lose performance and efficiency, and you might experience symptoms like poor fuel economy, sluggish acceleration, or even pinging noises from the engine. Faulty knock sensor, over time, the knock sensor can wear out or fail. Damaged wiring or connectors, corroded or broken wiring can cause issues with the knock sensor signal. Engine mechanical problems, sometimes, engine issues like a misfire can trigger the knock sensor ECM issues. In rare cases, the ECM itself could be at fault. Tools you'll need, OBD to scanner, multimeter, ratchet set, torque wrench, Replacement knock sensor if needed. Locate the knock sensor, which is usually mounted on the engine block or intake manifold. With your multimeter, check the resistance between the two terminals of the knock sensor. The resistance should be within the manufacturer's specified range, usually between 93 and 100 ohms for most vehicles. If the resistance is off, the sensor is bad and needs replacing. Once you've replaced the sensor and checked the wiring, reconnect your OBD to scanner. To clear the PO3 to 5 code, start the engine and take it for a test drive to make sure the check engine light stays off. And there you have it, we've successfully diagnosed and fixed the PO3 to 5 knock sensor. Malfunction, remember, if you're not comfortable working on your car, it's always a good idea to take it to a professional, but with the right tools and a little know-how. This is a repair that most dyers can handle. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more automotive repair content. See you next time.